Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of the War video. Sorry, um, I haven't uploaded for quite a few days. Um, just had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I had some computer dramas, which almost gave me a literal heart attack. Um, but lucky after I've ripped it apart and that I was able to fix um, whatever the problem was. I think just the pins on my GPU or something um, weren't connecting properly. So I cleaned them and I ended up getting my picture back because yeah. So but yeah, I fixed that. So a lot of stress. But in saying that, um, I have started my new season. Uh, I am doing uh, what's it called? Tactic is Evolved RP. We've currently been in here for a couple of days. My progress is pretty solid. Uh, I'm not as high as I usually am up there. I haven't been spending as much. I don't have a lot of gems and things um, But we've been grinding pretty well So I just wanted to show you how things are going in my server i um, show you who I'm focusing on this season with commanders and everything So yeah, let's just get into it. I'll give you a quick update just how things are going myself Just got to quickly heal some troops up here and stuff um, so my buildings now are doing quite nicely at the moment. I'm currently, um, I just got Main Hall 17, not long, 17. Main Hall 7, Main Hall 17, that would be insane, wouldn't it? Um, so we're doing quite well there. I'm progressing through the um, what I need to be doing quite well. I think we're at like chapter 18 within a couple of days. So going for this very nicely. So yeah, my progression with buildings, I'm very happy with at the moment. Um, now... With my units and stuff like that, I'll show you the units. So I do have a couple of elites unlocked in that. Looks like we actually have some barracks that we need to do here real quick as well. Oh, it's just a hire. I don't have a lot of gold at the moment. So yeah, we'll work on that. But the good thing is I'm playing as Arnor. So it's my first time as Arnor. You probably would have seen that by the title and the thumbnail. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I'm working on... I finally got... Um, some tier 3s just now um, so I'm working on the guardman I do have breeze and I've made these two elite just with their level 1 elite skills um, and then I've just been using these hobbit archers that I'm telling you really right now these guys are really good on tiles early game so yeah don't overlook these hobbit archers guys um, I've finally just got to the dwarves with marksman now this is helping me a lot with my seal door because I can use his R5 skill now as well um, and I was dabbling with the knights a bit, um, but they just take so long. So I've just been working with the rangers and the spearmen pretty much. And that's what I've been using with troops. Now, um, the big one is, um, before we look at my commanders, I'll show you how things are looking at the moment um, on the world map. So as you can see, we are doing quite well at the moment, taking quite a few regions. And we do plan to take um, some more regions. Uh, we are working on diplomacy. I know that so far we seem to be getting on very well and nicely and respectful with Loth. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening there. Now, with this server, there is not a lot of evil whatsoever. So it's going to be basically between good sides. What a surprise. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of evil prevalence um, in Gundur and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like it is going to be a very good side of dominated um, season for my season that I'm in at the moment. Um, in particularly, the big ones are ourselves and Arnor. So I can show you that we're up to uh, factions arise already in the season after a few days. If we go to the rankings, I ain't too bad. Like top 30 there and then top 40. Like um, I've run out of tile areas at the moment, so I only can go for 200s and they're a little bit hard still. So um, I'm thinking about possibly having to try and move base or something at the moment. But for slow progression and that, like, um, I think I'm still doing quite well. Um, but as you can see, um, with the fellowship progression, you can see that um, Loth, ourselves, and uh, Lindon are very strong. We've also got some a, a few other groups here, and also Rohan's going to be good. But as you can see, Evil is not looking too good whatsoever, guys. Alrighty. Now, let's just have a look at a few things. So, with my commanders that I've been using, this is my commander progression at the moment. So, I've really been focusing on a seal door. I think he's going to be amazing this season. Um, and the next one we're working on is Faramir. Um, this is the idea of what I've got for him at the moment. It's not the most ideal um, accessory. I could probably have something better there, but it's just what I've got to work with. But it is pretty good. I do get a little bit of healing in that from it. Um, which is quite interesting. Um, I've just started leveling up Gilglad now that I've unlocked some of the elf units. So we'll be using him. 
Now, I do know this helmet is not good because it increases commander speed, but I have nothing else to use at the moment. Gandalf the Grey has been, yeah, he's just been the breadwinner. He's been the absolute tank at the moment, helping me get all my tiles and stuff like that, and he's doing fantastically. Um, and this is how I am skilling him currently at the moment at R18. Um, we are currently working on leveling up Gandalf the White. Um, definitely not the best gear here. Like, it's it's good, Like, but obviously you can see there's a couple of things that don't kind of match. But uh, Gandalf the White is also doing quite well, but I haven't thrown him towards a 200 yet, so that is something I will be definitely interested in doing. Uh, also working on Dwalin as well. Um, the, I've got pretty good gear for him this season, and I think he's going to do quite well. He's like, it's Dwalin, what can we say? He's always going to do damage no matter what. Uh, and then briefly, um, we are slowly starting to work on Theoden. My gear has downgraded a little bit on him, but it's not too bad. I've got this Hunter's Guide here with Melee Suppression, as well as this Box of Knowledge. So I'm still going to get some Army HP buffs and Might buffs and that from here, even though he's not a strategist. It's still, overall, it's going to be a slightly decent Theoden, who's going to hold his weight at R19. But of course, the mounted troops take time to train. So yeah, um, in saying that, I'm just slowly progressing him, mostly just from mock training and stuff like that. Um, I have been using things like these ruins and that to get um, my XP levels and such up. But yeah, that's basically what's been happening at the moment. Um, no big wars or PvP. Just been working on all my troops and units and things like that. And just, yeah, planning to try to get stronger and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much just a server update of what's going on. Where things are happening. Yeah, um, so yeah, videos. I definitely want to be doing my first PvP with Faramir with the cloak this season, so we'll definitely be doing a video on him. Um, yeah, I'll be redoing pretty much all of these commanders, especially Gandalf the White. I haven't touched on him for quite a while. And Gandalf the Grey and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll be working on a lot of in particular different videos and stuff and keep you guys updated um, and stuff like that. And going over, like showing some of the new elite skills and showing how they work in the battle and everything. So yeah. Hopefully it's going to be fun, but yeah, I'm going to keep grinding and hopefully I can catch up a little bit more and things are going good. So yeah, it's just a little bit of an update on how things are going and showing you and what you can expect this season. So until next time guys, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Oh